What's going on fam? My name is Brennan Myers and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to build iron grip strength. You can do this with body weight training or weight training. Actually, it's something you probably didn't think of. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so when you talk about your pinky and your ring finger, what are your first thoughts? Do you think it has a huge part in your grip strength? How about your thumb? How about, if I explain it like this, when you think about it, all of the muscles that are attached to your hand and how it moves. So when you are flexing here or you're extending the wrist here, how many muscles are moving that area? Or when you grab a weight, maybe a dumbbell, a barbell, whatever it is, have you ever thought about all these different muscles? Well, the truth is, come, come with me. Your grip strength is actually attributed a lot more to the muscles that are contracting than anything else. And so you'll see a lot of guys saying, you know, hey, if you wanna build your forms, you wanna build your grip strength, whatever, then you have to do this exercise or that exercise or this exercise. But more times than not, it's way more simple than that. You don't have to do, actually, too much of anything else, you don't really need to train your forearms too much because you're already training them whenever you're doing any other movement in the gym, a pull down, a pull up. Imagine a pull up, how much weight you're holding with your, in that position, especially pronated position. So let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. Come on over here. So let's say you are doing a dumbbell row, okay? And I'm gonna go into some body weight stuff too, so don't worry. So let's say you're going into a dumbbell row, right? And you're rowing here. Now I want you to look really, really closely to my pinky and my ring finger, okay? So as I'm coming up, you notice how I can take off my, my pinky and come back up. So here's the thing. Imagine if every single movement you squeeze as hard as you could with these two fingers and that thumb. Because a lot of us, what we also do, I'll go into that row again, we also have our thumb off and we're going here, okay? So imagine how much more force you could produce if you had all those cro cross bridges in combination with each other. So you gotta remember your muscle, and I'm not gonna go through the fibers and everything, but your muscle is formed of so many different little cells and also uh, muscle fibers that are firing. And so the more muscle fibers that are stimulated, the more force you're gonna produce, the more energy that's gonna be produced, right? ATP output, we talk about this when you take in creatine, you know when you're in the gym, you can train longer. By the way, creatine, HCL is coming very soon. Uh, create. <laughs> but when you're doing this movement, all I want you to do is grab and tighten as hard as you can with all those fingers that I talked about. Because now, you're actually even gonna be able to lift more, believe it or not. So if you strengthen by just really squeezing every single movement, you'll see a huge difference just in that. That's really the main part that a lot of people miss out on. So let me give you another example. You'll notice even on a bench press or a shoulder press, so you're here, you'll notice a lot of people, they wanna press here with their palms open, right? Of course, this is good but why not use every muscle that you can in that press? Because you will be able to build that iron grip strength. A lot of people ask me, how can you lift uh, this? How can you do so many pull-ups, like three plates, four plates? It's because of my grip strength. I can actually hold myself up there. Imagine if you could hold a lot more. Here is another example. So RDLs, you talk about RDLs, you'll notice when you come down, a lot of guys, they go like this or because it's so heavy they go like this and it's it's lying here now of course if it's crazy heavy it's really really hard to use those muscles on the outside or sorry those fingers on the outside of course right but if you get accustomed to it you'll know nothing nothing more or nothing less than using those muscles so when you're here just go here instead come down and then straighten up and squeeze as hard as you can that's it that's really it. That's how you build iron grip strength. There's no gimmicks. It's the truth. It's very easy. Come over to a pull-up. So, when you're in a pull-up position, actually, I'll go this way. Come on over to the side. When you're on a pull-up position, watch out for the mirror. When you're on a pull-up position, a lot of guys, 
they, they want to go here with their thumb outside and not wrapping around and squeezing as hard as possible. Well, guess what? When you're not squeezing as hard as possible with that thumb, your pinky is also affected as well. I mean, it's your whole hand, right? So you'll notice that people are even really doing three finger pull-ups. Because come on this side, if you can see here, if you're going here, you can still do that movement. So what we want to do is tighten up, boom, and squeeze as hard as we can in that movement. More force is going to be provided. You have more muscles that are working, that are contracting, more muscle fibers, stimulate it. It's very simple stuff. If you follow this, you won't have problems as much anymore and you'll get better and better and better with your grip strength and stronger and stronger and stronger. Now, if you wanna do a couple movements for your forearms, you can. Like I said at the beginning of this video, you don't really need to. Can it be beneficial? Of course, if that's all you're really focusing on is your grip strength. Um, you can come here on a pull-up and just hang and go back and forth. Watch out, there's behind you. You can go back and forth here and just keep on swinging and swinging and swinging. And if you notice, what I'm doing with my hand, I'm doing this with my hand the whole time. I'm trying to pull and push. Pull and push. And I'm squeezing as hard as I can throughout the entire movement. That's really the, one of the only movements that I would ever recommend for people. You can do easy bar curls. At the same time, you work your forearms in so many different movements. It's just like your calves. It's like if you're doing cardio five times a week or you're hitting legs three times a week and you're going hard, and you're doing a lot of plyometrics, maybe you're biking a lot, you're doing all these different movements, um, you don't need to work your, your calves too much. It's really overworking them. And that's very, very important and something to keep in mind. So um, yeah, that's the video for today. Very simple, very specific. I don't want to bullshit. I want to make sure that you have all the information so you can go out there and, and do exactly what the title of the video is. Build Iron Man Grip Strength. Simple as that. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, we're going to be doing these videos like every single week. I want to come back with bangers. We've got Taylor behind the camera killing it. I'm also 62 days out officially. 62 days out, really filling up. I feel really, really good with where I am. <clears throat> so I'll be still documenting the whole process and also Create You Nutrition is officially launched. So if you wanna check out Create You Greens, the greens juice, it's an amazing product. So many benefits. It, just, just go to the page. I don't wanna go through, the, through all of that. Link is in the description and also the Creatine HCL is coming out here very, very soon. I'm super excited for that. Probiotics, prebiotics, pre-workout. We have a lot of things brewing that we haven't really talked about because uh, if he told ya, I might have to kill you. <laughs> no, so thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. Remember podcast every Tuesday and Friday. Generally, I like to have a, a, a guest on, sometimes not. Um, but I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great outside of everything. And uh, yeah, appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah. Like the attention, girl, I know you. Know you. But you're everything I want in life. Yeah.